week started November 23rd and culminates on December the 1st, World AIDS Day. In honour of this, and with the kind permission and assistance of the Speaker, you have each received a red ribbon symbolising the fight against AIDS. Please wear it to signal your support of the campaign to increase awareness, provide support and help, and advocate for those living with AIDS. On the same card is the pin for HIV Edmonton, which is embarking on a campaign to celebrate 25 years since its inception in 1984. Last week I attended a wonderful event honouring Edmonton's Michael Fair and the few individuals who gathered around his kitchen table to develop a plan to deal with the arrival in Edmonton of the first public case of AIDS. Michael did a retrospective of how AIDS affected Edmonton, what steps were taken, how networks were built, even the toll that the constant death of friends had on those very activists. It was a subtle reminder that we have come a long way and that we still have a way to go. For their 25th anniversary campaign, HIV Edmonton has planned a legacy garden, a coffee table book to commemorate the champions of the HIV AIDS movement in Edmonton, and a gala. I look forward to celebrating with you. AIDS started out affecting what we thought was one specific group and now kills people from every walk of life. It particularly plays on the vulnerable, but no one is safe unless they take the precautions. For this year, HIV Edmonton is working with Starbucks on a World AIDS Day fundraiser. So please consider getting your coffee from them next Tuesday, December the 1st. As well, there is a vigil at the Citadel Theatre on December the 1st, and events are also planned for Calgary and elsewhere across Alberta. Please support AIDS research, and congratulations to HIV Edmonton on 25 years of support for that community.